Good evening. How are you doing? Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, my friend. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. And you? Me too. Welcome on board. Are you ready? I'm ready. Excellent. Well, then let's begin. If you're ready, let's begin. Good evening, everyone. Today is June the 22nd. This is class 15, phrasal verbs, phrasal verbs. Okay, let's begin. Let's, let's begin with phrasal verbs. Okay. In the agenda, <clears throat> in the agenda, we have phrasal verbs, asking someone out and my new boss. Okay. The purpose is to review content, to review content. Okay. Let's begin with phrasal verbs. Before we actually start the reading, okay, let's see, I want to remind you of this. Okay. Phrasal, phrasal verbs can be separable and inseparable. When we talk about separable, we're thinking about the ones that have two parts, and you separate the parts, and you put the pronoun between. Call me up. Call me up. That would be separable. So it has, um, let's say, three forms. They usually have three forms. Let's see the three forms. Let's use with this one that I told you. Uh, call, call up Maria. Call up Maria. Okay, you say like call up Maria, call Maria up. Or call her up. Okay, three forms, three different forms. Maybe you have noticed that it says call up Maria. Call Maria up, call her up. So what's the meaning? If you have the noun, the noun can be after, after the particle, this is the particle up, after the particle or between the verb and the particle, okay? And if you have a pronoun, the pronoun obligatorily has to be between the two. Call her up. You never say call up her. Call her up. Okay. The same happens with turn on the TV. Okay. Turn the TV on. Turn the TV on or say, turn it on, turn it on. No turn it on, right? turn it on, no. Turn it on, turn it on, 
turn on the TV, turn the TV on, turn it on. Okay. So, uh, for example, with shoes, take off your shoes. Or take your shoes off. Or turn them off. Turn them off. Take them off. Okay. The, the same thing is put on your shoes, put your shoes on. Put them on. Okay, so you say put put on your pants. Put your pants on. Okay. Put your pants on. Put your pants on. Put your pants on, okay. Put them on. Put them on, right? Teacher, what is the P? Didn't write, okay. So put your pants on, put, okay. Put on your pants, put your pants on, put them on. Or, Pick up the book. Pick the book up. Pick it up. So, throw away the garbage. Throw away the garbage. Throw the garbage away. Throw it away. Throw the garbage away. Throw away the garbage. Throw the garbage away. Throw it away. So three forms. Call up Maria. Call Maria up. Call her up. Turn on the TV. Turn the TV on. Turn it on. Take off your shoes. Take your shoes off. Take them off. Put on your pants. Put your pants on. Put them on. Pick up the book. Pick the book up. Pick it up. Throw away the garbage, throw the garbage away, throw it away. Okay, so this is just to give an idea. All right, my dear ones. I see that now we are more people. Um, let's see. It says phrasal verbs go over, the purpose is to go over information study okay hey jack can you take out the trash but mom it's raining very hard so i've never seen the rain killing anyone just take it out and please don't speak up again understood yeah mom sorry but it's the truth plain and cruel stop whimpering and just get it over with all right I'm coming. Oh, come on, Sonny. Put on a raincoat and boots. I just don't want you to come down with the flu, okay? Fine. Can I just wait for it to let up a little? Are you waiting for me to do it? Of course not. I'll get a raincoat and boots. Once you're done, please don't forget to take off those ugly muddy boots of yours before coming in. Don't worry, I won't. I just hope I don't catch a cold. You won't. Just hurry up already. Okay, 
Again, hey, Jack, can you take out the trash? But mom, it's raining very hard. So I've never seen the rain killing anyone. Just take it out and please don't speak up again. Understood? Yeah, mom. Sorry, but it's a truth, plain and cruel. Stop whimpering and just get it over with, all right? I'm coming. Oh, come on, Sonny. Put on a raincoat and boots. I just don't want you to come down with the flu, okay? Fine. Can I just wait for you to let up a little? Are you waiting for me to do it? Of course not. I'll get a raincoat and boots. Once you're done, please don't forget to take off those ugly, muddy boots of yours before coming in. Don't worry, I won't. I just hope I don't catch a cold. You won't, just hurry up already. Okay, do you have any questions about the, the words here? Okay, no questions, very good. Then no. let's, I'm going to open the, the groups and uh, let's see how many people we are. Right now we are 10 people, so three groups of nine. Okay, three groups of nine. Uh, we are nine, so three groups of three. There is one more, so three groups of one of four and two of three. Okay, let's begin. Okay. Excellent. One, two, three, no, four, no, three. Okay, the groups are opening. Please join. Okay. All right, let's see. Hello. Hello. Hello, Cecilia. How are you? Uh, uh, how are you, Maria? Maria? Yes, Mary. Mary. <laughs> Maria, Mary. Okay, Mary. Very How are you? Okay. And who is the chair? What? Or who is the third? Only you and I. I don't know. Amanda. Amanda is the other one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And also Miguelito. Ah, Miguelito. Miguelito oh. Cisco. Ah, Miguelito, Maria, and I. Here I am. Here I am, baby. <laughs> <laughs> ahí, ahí está Miguelito. Okay. Who who is the first? I can be the mom. Okay, I'm going to be there. Song. You'll be my son. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey, Jack, can you take out the trash? Well, just let me one second because I, I open in the uh, presentation. Okay. My cell phone. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. <clears throat> hey, Jack, can you take out the trash? But mom, it's raining very hard. So? I never seen the rain killing anyone. Just take it out and please don't speak up again. Understood? 
Yeah, mom. Sorry. <laughs> but it's the truth. Plain and crew. <laughs> Stop whimpering and just get it over with, all right? Oh, come on, Sonny. Put on the raincoat and boots. I just. I'm coming. Yo creo que es mine. Es fine. Es fine. Es fine. I'm coming. The sun says I am coming. Uh, fine. <laughs> now it's my turn. Oh, come on, yeah, I'm... Sonny. Put on the raincoat and boots and just don't want to come down while the flu, okay? With the flu, okay? Fine. Can I just wait for, for it to let up a little? Are you waiting for me to do it? Of course not. I'll get the raincoat and boots. Once you're done, please don't forget to take off those ugly muddy boots of yours before coming <clears throat> in. Don't worry, I won't. I just hope I didn't catch a call. A call. You won't. Just hurry up already. Okay. <laughs> next, next. Maria? Next. Next. Green. ¿Quién soy yo? Mom o son? <laughs> if you want it, be the son because Miguel can be the mom. I'm I'm mom because I'm in this group too. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, I'm mom. Hey Jack, can you take take out? Oh, come on. Put on a raincoat and boots. I just don't want you to calm down with the flu, okay? Fine. Can just wait for it to let up a little? Are you waiting for me to do it? Of course not. I've got a raincoat and boots. Once you're done, please don't forget to take, to take off those ugly muddy boots. And just before coming in. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't. I just hope I don't catch a uh, cult. You won. Just hurry up already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, it's going now. Ah, we have Eric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Eric. Hello, Eugenia. Hello, Gabriela. Hello. Hello. Okay, hey, what is me, mom. Okay, Eugenia. <laughs> and Eric. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> we, we can practice. I, I practice yeah. like a mom because I am mom. Yeah, I think you are a person. So <laughs> <laughs> we had experience. <laughs> So, hey Jack, can you take her out the trash? But mom, it's raining very hard. So, I never seen the rain killing anyone. Just take it out. And please don't speak up again. Understood? Yeah, mom. Sorry. Sorry, but it's the truth. Play and cruel. Stop. Wind firing and just get it over with, all right? I'm coming. Oh, come on, Sonny. But on a raincoat and boots, I just don't want you to come down with the flu, okay? Fine. Can I just wait for it to let up a little? Are you waiting for me to do it? Of course not. I'll get a raincoat and boots. Once you are done, please don't forget to take off those ogle, moody boots of yours before coming in. Coming. Don't worry. 
I won't. I just hope I don't catch a cold. You won't. Just hurry up already. Okay. Okay. Hello, Wendy. Hello. Oh, Wendy, hello. Wendy, ese, ese... Esa palabra, whimpering. 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 Whimpering means like, oh, my. Whimpering. Okay, whimpering. Okay. okay Wendy, you mom and me song. Wendy? Can you change? I don't have. Como impermeable. Ah, un abrigo impermeable. Ajá, para la lluvia, el raincoat, abrigo de lluvia. O sea, ah, gracias. ¿Cuál otra? La otra que no sé. Abrigo. Ah, no, solo. Uh, esta de Killing. Matando, o sea, Mat dice. Matando, nunca, I never see. Nunca he visto que la lluvia mate a alguien. Ah, matando. eso. Uh -huh. Ah, matando. Eso me. Killing. Sí, uh -huh. gracias. Gracias. Ah, y esta, Wimpering. 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 Como no. lloriqueo, vea. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. And also, Wimpering is what the children do that they throw on the, on the ground and they start kicking and. Crying, protesting. Uh -huh. Ah, no lo quiero hacer, algo así. <laughs> whimpering, whimpering. Sí, yes. tampoco sabía esa whimpering. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, we finish. Get it over. Uh -huh, get it over with. So you finish, right? So, yeah. Yes. Excellent. Let's, I'm going to close the groups. Okay. Okay, uh, now let's see. Explain what they mean to your partner. Come on, take out, put on, take off, hurry up, come down with, speak up, get it over with, let up, come in. Okay, just for you to explain it later, I'm going to give you some examples and then you can think about it. The rain, is coming down hard. It's really pouring. When will it let it up? I mean, or when will it let up? When will it let up? And when will the sun shine again? Okay. Take off your boots. Take out the trash. Come down with the flu. Okay. If you come down with the flu, take some medicine, okay, mm -hmm. such as hot toddy tea, okay, or linen cough mixture, mm -hmm. okay, or some other type of medicine, okay? <laughs> now, when someone knocks on the door, you say, come in, come in, okay? So, what are we going to do? Adelante. Exactly, come in. So, you will explain these words, to your partners in the groups. So let's go and figure out the meanings, okay? We have to explain this. The words, uh -huh. you have to explain these words to your partner. Mm -hmm. 
And then when we come back, if you, there are other there are words that you don't understand, I will explain them to you. Okay. Okay. So the groups are beginning. They are opening. Okay. Okay. Who's the first? What is the meaning of come on? Mm. Come on. Come on. I think that is that when you want to somebody come to you. You say, come on. Yes, I, I, I think that is, is correct. Come on. Uh, and and to, to tell somebody it's like, go ahead. But don't say, go ahead. It, it, you say, come on. Oh, it's correct, Jose Angel. Yes, it's correct. It's a way of encouraging people. Come on, come on, you can do it. Move it, move, uh -huh. move it, come on, come on. Yeah. But two is when you want to, some people came to you, come to you. For example, in come on, case, baby. It, okay. <laughs> um, if some people are doing something too slowly, you say, come on, come on, hurry up. Or when people don't want to do something, you say, come on, do it. Okay. But for people to come, to you, you only say, come here. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You only come here without on. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Sure. Um. And take out, Miguel. Take yeah. up is like a uh, some uh, uh, take up is when you uh, take up something. <laughs> yeah, so something that you are using, right? You can take off. So, mm, Say <laughs> put on oh. put the dishes on the wash dishes. <laughs> I think no put on is okay. put on is with for clothes. Well, for something where ah. you where you start wearing. Start wearing. Put on your pants, put on your shirt, put on your hat. Put they go best quit wearing. What? <laughs> uh, speak up is when you. Um, I I understand like at the speak up when you respond to to someone. Something like that, right? Um, yeah. Somebody is telling you something to say, hey, no, <laughs> that's not louder. true. I talk louder. Okay. Talk louder. Okay. And get it over is like finish something, finish uh, doing something. Some people would, would say, hazlo de una buena vez, right? Get it over with. <laughs> okay, termina con eso. Get it over. 
Get it over. And, and okay, coming is going in to a room, um, to a install to a building, something like that. Coming and let up. How we can say it, let up? <laughs> Dimini. Come on, let up. <laughs> let up means reduce, diminish, talking about the rain. Mm. Not necessarily stop, but okay, reduce the intensity. Okay, let up. Mm, okay. It's like Cesar. No, Cesar es... Que se calme. Cuando uno dice que se calme un poco. Ajá, que baje la intensidad. Cesar es que se detiene. Que termine. No. Ah, ok. That means that the intensity goes in decline. And then it's not raining so hard. It continues raining. Continues raining, but it isn't raining as hard as before. In what other situation we can use let up? Um, let up normally is for rain. Normally we talk about the wind or the rain, but normally for the rain. Because for, for the, the intensity of other things die out. We use die down, die down, to reduce, die out to finish. Okay. For example, the wind was blowing very, very hard, but it's dying down, okay? Or the noise, when there is a lot of noise. I couldn't speak because there was a lot of noise, but now that the noise has died down, I can tell you what I think, okay? So die down, but let up is usually for the rain. Uh huh. So that's that's the idea. Okay. It's the first time I I, I hear the let up. <laughs> so that's why I asking. No problem. Okay, now that everybody's back out, let's see. Come on, come on means move it, move it. Come on, X, make an effort. So it's like um, you use it, it's an expression that we use to encourage people. Come on, come on, right? When someone doesn't wanna do it, it's a way of protesting when people are, uh, moving very slowly or they are not doing something well they say oh come on you can do it you can do better hurry up and do it okay or when someone uh, let's say is contradicting you someone is contradicting you say oh come on now oh come on now it's a way of, of uh, saying Shut up. Oh, come on now. <laughs> okay, it's another, in another expression. Now, take out. What is take out? Okay, uh, you have money in the pocket and you have to pay something. You put your hand into the pocket and you take the money out. Okay, uh, to move it from in out. 
take it out. Mm -hmm. uh, so if someone has the hands in the pocket, the police says, move forward and take out your hands. Okay, let me see your hands, right? Take out, mm -hmm. your, take out your hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, take out. Now put on, start wearing. This is for clothes. Put on your boot, put on your shoes, put on a coat. Okay, take off the opposite. Stop wearing. You mm -hmm. take off your jeans and you put on your shorts. Or you take off your hat, you take off your coat when you get home. Uh, if you were outside and you were wearing a sweater, you get inside and it's warm, you take off your sweater. Mm -hmm. Take off in this case means remove your clothes or strip, strip. Not like strip tease, but strip, take off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Strip, take off, okay? So strip off your clothes. Strip off your clothes is take off your clothes. Okay, hurry up. Hurry up is to ask someone to move faster. Yeah. Okay, or to do something faster. Step on it, hurry up. Come on, move it, move it, move it, move it, right? You remember the movie uh, Police Academy, right? Move it, move it, move it. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. All right. So hurry up. Come down with is to get sick. And usually with things that are contagious diseases. Come down with the flu. You don't come down with a headache. Now come down with the flu. Come down with the with the COVID. COVID. <laughs> uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Speak up. Talk louder. Mm -hmm. If someone, if someone is telling you something, you answer aggressively and talk louder. That is speak. That speak up. Get mm -hmm. it over with. Finish it once and for all. Come on, get it over with. Means finish it. Okay. Let up. Diminish the intensity, reduce the intensity, okay? Come in, enter, enter. Okay, so which, which of the pictures, one, two, three, four, five, and six, is showing you come in? The, the number six? Number six, right? It is. Which which do, do you think could be take out? For the number two, take uh, out. Number three. Number three, take out the trash. Ah, take out. Yes. Take yes. out means sacar, take out. Yes. Uh -huh. And then uh, for put on. Mm. The number two, put on your boots. Two, put on your boots. You, if you, if the boots mm -hmm. are on the floor, you say, hey, put them on. But if if you are wearing the boots, they say, hey, take them off. Take them off. Okay. What about for hurry up? Take off means remove. But for hurry up, which would it be? There's no one, right? No for hurry up. Okay. Maybe the, the number one. Hurry up, it's raining. <laughs> hurry up, it's raining, right? Yes, it's raining hard. Hurry up, it's raining hard. Okay. Yes. And uh, for come down with? Uh, number four. Number four. Come down with. Is she, comes, come, she comes come. down with the flu. She came down with the flu. Exactly. Okay. For speak up, we don't have others. Well, for the others, we don't have. Only come in and, okay. So let's move on. 
we're going to be discussing these questions. These questions are about the rain, okay? We're going to be discussing these questions with your partners. It says, discuss the following questions. Do you like the rain? How do you feel when the sky gets overcast? Okay, what is overcast? Cloudy and dark, right? Overcast. If cloudy and dark. Okay. Cloudy and dark. If you get wet, do you come down with the flu? Okay, four. Do you always carry an umbrella? Five. What problems can the rain cause? Six. Who worries the most when it rains a lot? Seven, is this worry ever justified? Why? Okay, let's see. Discuss the questions in the groups. Uh, how, uh, how can we say this love? Landslide. Land? Land slide. Landslide. Landslide. Uh, landslide. Landslide. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show. I'm going to show. I want to share the screen again to show you. Okay. All right. Let me see. I want to write it here. There can be, if it's because of rain, could be mudslide. Mudslide, right? Because it's mud is lodo, it's mudslide. Can be an avalanche. It's an avalanche of mud. And then landslide is maybe it's not raining, but because uh, the rain made the wall of a cliff maybe weaker when the, the ground moves a little bit, the land slides. So that would be landslide. Hey. How do you say inundación? Flood. On in flood. Mm -hmm. Flood. Okay. A flood. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now let's go to the groups. Mm -hmm. The groups are opening. I will share the screen. Please. Okay. Uh, okay. Do you like the way the their way, Cecilia? <laughs> yes, I like, but not always because when it's ra it's raining hard it's dangerous for the people who lives in the in the near the rivers uh, it's so dangerous when it rains hard like today in the afternoon in my in my neighbor it's rain really hard. Neighborhood? I, yes, na neighborhood, exactly. It's really hard. I never seen this way to rain in, in this winter. Yes, I know. I, I, I never seen the, the rain like the, the this exactly. day after. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, was surprised. <laughs> so yes. Surprised. <laughs> okay. And how do you feel when the sky gets overcast? Mm, overcast. Uh, I, I, I forget uh, what's the mean overcast. When the sky is cloudy dark? and dark. And dark. Uh, and I feel. 
I feel yeah. a little sad. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbor is very often the, the shortcut yeah. when it's raining. Um, the communication is very bad too. Ah, the Wi Fi, yes. or internet yeah. Yeah. goes down. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with, but that is when it's pouring. But yeah, when uh, now heavy rain is it's very cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, how do you feel when the sky gets overcast? I feel, um, how do you say, um, not triste, pero como, <laughs> no, no, tampoco, <laughs> sino que, es que no sé cómo explicarlo, no, es como que, ay, no quiero hacer <laughs> Feeling down, yes. Ah, I'm feeling down. <laughs> it's like I want to stay in my house, sleeping all day. <laughs> yeah, eh? you can sleep <laughs> because it's it's cold and you know you can take a with it under your sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Try it to, to be warmer. <laughs> I I worry I worry because I I ride a motorcycle. Oh, Ooh. for you is it's your enemy. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! So in these days, you You're you so travel <laughs> this. <laughs> You're suffering a lot every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Street are, are uh, what's again? Smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> if you get wet, do you come down with the flu? Not always. Sometimes. <laughs> In I my think. case, same sometimes. <laughs> Yes. Because the weather and the wind. I think it's, it's, uh, uh, it's not just the rain, it can be other situation that make it uh, like, um, I, I, I forget the words. <laughs> but it's you not know, just the rain, it's all, all your environment. That can make you with that with the flow. Mm. So. Uh, for number four, do you always carry an an umbrella? Yes, I always. Yes. I carry my case always. Don't always do. I never have an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> no, I oil always. In sunny days and windy days, <laughs> no matter what, I, I always carry an umbrella because one day I go out and was very sunny and it start to, <laughs> to rain <laughs> and, and I finish all wet. I, oh, just the day I, I left the umbrella at home, was raining, so yeah. <laughs> I they have day. bad luck. <laughs> yes. Very bad. So since that day, I always put the umbrella in in my bag. <laughs> okay. In my case, it's the same because uh, in sunny days, I don't like to. Oh, um, it's the. How do you say requema? <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> get, get sunburn. Get sunburn. 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 You don't want sunburn. to. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't like to get sunburn. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> don't like it. We call it the vampire gene. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that because. Uh, uh, my 
my skin is is very sensitive to the sun so i really fast i go all you get too white wrong? you are too white yes <laughs> i this is i start to puchelita yes, yes. <laughs> something like that Okay. Uh, you get yes. you get pretty red. Um, yes, so that's the problem. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I know people who hate the sun. <laughs> I tell them that uh, when I become a vampire, I'm going to hate the sun too. <laughs> I hated the sun because it's, it's good for the plants, uh, for a lot of activities. It's good the sun, but no, not in my skin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the another one. What problems can the rain cause? Flu. Así creo. Ah. That's good. Lamp light. light. How, how do you say inundación? Landslide. Landslide is a slab, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, who worries the most? When it's raining a lot. Mm. Who worries the most when it's raining a lot? I don't understand the question. Okay, who is for people? So it means what people worry the most when it rains a lot? The people who live near rivers, the people whose house is made up of, uh, let's say, mixed materials such as cardboard or iron sheets or boards, it's made of some type of boards or materials that are not very good and that their houses get, uh, well, the water leaks, leaks in and they get wet every time it rains or they're scared of inundations or landslides because they live close to a river. Maybe the river can overflow and they can get inundations. These people worry about the rain. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The question seven. It is worry ever you see for why? Is it reasonable for people to get worried for the people who live near rivers to get worried? I mean, to get worried when it rains? Is it reasonable? Is it logical? Is it logical for them to feel like that? Or they are exaggerating?
Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Levar del hipódromo, como que río. Oh. But the problem, the lad is when it's starting, the, the plants are, are growing. Mm. But I don't know. Well, but you, you know the plant, the, the plantation can be go ways for the rain. Mm. Farmers, so, campesinos. Hmm? Okay, they say drivers because the traffic is. <laughs> the traffic is heavy, horrible when it's raining. <laughs> driver. Uh, yes, for drivers. And the other thing for the driver is uh, sometimes the, the, how to say, semaphoro. Traffic light. Traf how? Traffic light. Traffic light. Okay. Okay. In farmers for their seria harvest or crops. The crops. Mm -hmm. The crops. The crops. When you collect it. So in that case, because they mm -hmm. are still growing, they are the crops. Uh -huh. The plants. The tree plants. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the, yeah. the corn plants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they get, they, they ruin, simply they get spoiled. Mm -hmm. So it's very sad because, I mean, if they get spoiled, simply you can't uh, harvest anything. Yes, in all the money you put on, on, on that is, is waste. Invested, invested in that is, mm -hmm. go, goes to waste. But there is a problem that is uh, the money is not money that you have. It's money that the bank lent them. I mean, people got the money through a bank and then they, they were expecting to collect some money and pay. But if the crops went to waste, they couldn't, uh, let's say, get any benefits from that, no profits at all so they cannot pay so if they cannot pay they don't get any money for the next year okay and then there, there is i mean how can they plant like that if they get no money and so they stop planting they don't harvest anything they don't plant again they cannot pay and then they have to find the money somewhere else and somehow you know, it's a it's, cycle. It's a cycle. It's a, it's a terrible cycle. So that's why the people get the willies when it starts raining. Mm -hmm. They get the willies because they know that it's a disaster for them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to close. Okay. Okay, see you in the group. <laughs> Oops.
Okay, dear Angelitos, now that I see that um, most people are out, well, not really most people, but I have something to tell you before I go. If you haven't done the exam, the final exam, please do it. Uh, they asked me that you had to have the 100% of the platform complete uh, by tomorrow. However, they are giving an extension until Friday, Friday the 24th. Past that, salulul. There is no more time. And tomorrow is the last day. Tomorrow is our last day together, right? So therefore, uh, please work tonight, work tomorrow, and uh, iron out any difficulties that you may have in the platform so that you may present. Okay, my dear ones, thank you very much for attending. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, thank you for the reminder. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night.